Oke, okay, good morning, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today I'm going to present about the article that I found out about the digital literacy in digital strategy by Tamara Seifert and Monica Henderson from University of Calgary, Canada. So, this article discusses the role of digital literacy as a digital strategy policy goal in Canada and it reviews previous framing of digital literacy and suggests how they could be broadened to avoid an overly superficial treatment of Canadians' negotiation of the digital culture and policy making. So, digital strategy policy making in Canada over the last two decades version of digital strategy to give policy making in Canada have repeatedly concluded that the internet is part of an essential national infrastructure from the information highway at Fisheries Council from 1994 to 1997 to the National Broadband Task Force in 2001 and the Telecommunication Policy Review Panel from 2005 to 2006 to Digital, to digital Canada 150 in 2010 to 2015. It seems as though federal consultation pertaining to digital strategy continually revisit recommendations emanating from the same general regulatory framework device through similar process. So the role of digital literacy in federal approach to devising a broad internet policy strategy. So digital literacy is an important dynamic to examine to examine given the typical distributive paradigm for internet technology which focuses on access as theory about connectivity and hardware rather than about capabilities and software, you mentioned 2011. So there are five strategies for, the for developing digital literacy in a generation that takes steps for granted. So number one is stress the importance of coding and basic technology application skill. Number two is encourage innovation by revising versus reinventing the wheel. Number three is teach students how to determine the reasonability of an answer. Number four is prioritize student engagement over all else. Number five is push up for accesses to technological resources and solution in school. Uh, number one, stress the importance of coding and basic technology application skill. In today's world, the mother tongue or Better said, the lingua franca is found in coding and basic text skill needed to communicate with the devices in the Internet of Things. And it shall not equip it to speak this new language of coding will be lost, as if they were in a foreign culture with no cultural language skills. Number two is encourage innovation by refreshing versus reinventing the wheel. So we must put we must push the student toward innovation and understanding the operation and design on how devices work. Innovation does not occur serendipitously but rather through the application of existing knowledge to the new circumstances or need. Number three is this student how to determine the reasonability of an answer. So nowadays it's less important to own contents knowledge. A greater emphasis is on asking the right the right question to get useful information from search engine engines and knowing how to acquire the knowledge. There are many correct answers out there. However, there are fewer effective or reasonable correct answers. Number four is prioritize student engagement over all else. 
So nowadays, teacher and parents worry about the amount of the children are spending in front of the screen. So technology is not so much about screen time, it is about the exploration. Research shows that children run prevalently in the kinetic or hands-on domain. And the last one is push for access to technological resources and solution in school. For a school without access to technological resources and a solution, and even for those fortunate to have the resources. It is important to seek support from this community. The community is comprised of stakeholders willing to get involved in the education of children as sources of mentoring, success definition, and economic impact on the community. And digital literacy, digital literacy methods for marketers. Remote work or safer at home orders are shifting digital transformation plans everywhere into work speed and marketers are allowed for the ride as digital media becomes the primary or only customer facing means of communication for most organization. Digital literacy is more important than ever before. Digital literacy also known as media is a new concept that because Discussion around it has increased steadily for decades. In the context of marketing and business, progression in television, radio, and internet based communication repeatedly demonstrate the advantage held by media literate brands. So that's all for me. Thank you so much uh, for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh,